Welcome to Roo's Autism Tips. Um, here we are from New Trails Learning Systems, ntls.co. Um, let's talk about oxytocin, your friend oxytocin. Those of you who know my work um, know that my son became verbal in the saddle in front of me on horseback and that I uh, noticed very quickly that it was in certain rhythms that the speech really happened. And I noticed very quickly after that, that if I use play equipment, swings, uh, trampoline, my shoulders even, and I tried to emulate these sort of dancey rhythms that the horse was doing, I got a similar result. Um, I didn't know why at the time, but I started doing um, play dates with other kids. And I noticed um, that it didn't just happen on the horse. Um, if I tried to get the same sort of dancey rhythms um, on my shoulders or when he was on a trampoline or on a swing, for example, sitting in front of me, I got the same result. And then I started running play dates at our place for other families on the spectrum and we noticed a similar result, in fact a universal result. So I went back to my original mentor, Dr. Temple Grandin, who had guided me from the outset, and I said, what do you think is going on with this? And she was the first person of many scientists subsequently to turn me on to, oh, it's oxytocin. What's happening in these dancey rhythms is that uh, f the hips are rocking in rhythm, and this causes the body, in this case your son's body, to produce large amounts of the hormone oxytocin. So I said, well, why would that be a good thing? And uh, she said, well, um, because oxytocin, it's not just the feel-good hormone, it's the hormone of communication. It makes you want to communicate. And if you think about what autism means, auto is the Greek word for the self. Autoism, selfism, locked within the self. The difficulty is the relationship with the exterior world. You don't really want to communicate too much. It's an effort. It's particularly verbal communication, maybe. Um, but suddenly, you're getting flooded with this hormone that promotes communication, oxytocin, and boom, communication happens. Whether um, it's verbal or whether it's with a non-verbal kid who just suddenly becomes much more engaged, um, or in fact with any of us. It's built into us. It's something called the mammalian caregiving system um, that's designed to make us uh, want to strategize with and communicate with each other because that is how we survive best and we know our species is very good at surviving in fact we're so good at it that we're sort of in currently endangering the planet we live on so um, we would stumbled into something i then um, asked uh, neuroscientists at the university of california um, why they thought this worked so well and they said ah Rupert, what's happened is that you have um, stumbled into a way to turn off the cell danger response in the brain. The cell danger response in the brain. Uh, a lot of people with neurodifference um, have overdeveloped amygdalas, the part of the brain that governs fight, flight and freeze, and produces the stress hormone cortisol, which um, cuts like a pair of scissors momentarily the connection between the instinctive part of your brain and the thinking part of your brain so that you act, you don't think, and that's how you stay alive, that's your reptilian brain. Problem is if you produce too much cortisol, it gets in the way of, of thinking things through. Um, so they said, you've, you've stumbled into a way of switching this off. So, oh my God, this is fascinating. So you, the viewer, whether you're a parent, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a therapist, can you get your kids moving in such a way that their hips are rocking in rhythm for prolonged periods of time while you talk to them, while you sing to them, while you uh, feed in information, think swings, think trampoline, think your shoulders, think wheelbarrow rides, think stuff you can do in the water. If you do that, you're going to switch off the cell danger response in the brain. If you do that, you're going to flood uh, the person that you're working with with this communication hormone and amazing things follow because they don't just want to communicate, they feel safe, they feel happy because Oxytocin is also the happiness hormone. Okay, to find out more, um, neuroscience and lesson plans, behavioral modules, all of that good stuff, um, go to our website, ntls.co, not .com, .co, stands for New Trails Learning Systems, ntls.co, and uh, just get all our good information that's on there. See you soon.